All right, guys, you see that shade mat right here. I mean, you can't script a better spot for largemouth. And I'll be honest, we hadn't been bidding any of those yet. But I know that with the high bright sun that we have, that's a real nice spot for largemouth to sit. I always fish around dead coots whenever I see them. Oh, is that a coot? Oh, he just got chased out. Here he comes right here. See him? He just chased my bait out. There he goes. We'll see where he goes. Oh, he turned right down on it. He wants it. He's trying to figure out where it went. He's going to get it out in the open. Oh, look at him. Look, he's interested. Okay, so we know this one. You put the bright colored minnow on them. We've already played this game. As soon as you see one, chase them out. You put this thing down there. Yep. Oh, I might have hit him with the line. So he was under that map. Oh, I wasn't sure if he had it or not. Here's another one right here under the boat. He's on it. He went turned right on it. I can't see if he got it. He got it. Got him. There you go. That's why you throw the colored minnow on him, guys. <laughs> it's funny. He was looking for it. Oh, there's one chasing him, too. Yeah, get some, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we're going to swing him on up in here. That's a nice looking fish, guys. And look at that. Oh, it's a peeing male, too. Look at that. Oh, no, it's not either. I thought he was. There's another perfect one, guys. You know, he's not a monster. That's our smallest fish of the day so far. But the classic, I want, I want to put him back real quick here. And we'll be nice, because we love these guys. Mm, a big smooch for you, baby. Look how clear the water is. Hey, buddy. So real quick, when we lock the boat down, I pitched the, the uh, creature hog underneath there, way back underneath there. Nothing bit. I reeled it up and reeled it out of there real quick to pitch it again, and a fish came charging out from underneath the mat, chasing it. Well, I just, I figured out they really will eat this gulp minnow better than anything else. And I can see when they pick it up. So all I did was set that rod down real quick, pick this rod up, throw it back. The fish that chased it out didn't get it, but another one spun around and got it. So it gives me a chance to see the bait. It's made out of gulp, so they're gonna hold it. And at this point it's paying the bills. And you guys laugh all you want about me and my gulp minnow. It's catching them now in a spot that nobody would be throwing gulp minnows on a Texas rig on 50 pound braid. It's, it's power finesse, let's call it that, and it's paying the bills. <laughs> Me and my minnow. <laughs> I tested gulp minnows prior to ever market launch. The guy showed up, works for Pure Fishing, works for Berkeley, I should say, had a whole bag full of them in a Ziploc bag, and said, it's our new bait, what do you think? And I was like, eh, that's pretty basic. And uh, that was like, what, 12, 13 years ago now? And yeah, I like this bait. <laughs> oh, dude.